What's going on, y'all? I'm Queen of Boss Lives. I'm here to grace with yet another episode of Big Boss Battles, where we delve into the lore, battle, and music of boss fights. This week, we have the Poison Scyther monstrosity, Flagra. And since y'all came, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel and motivates me to make more of these videos if you guys like them. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's get right into it. After achieving the missiles, you are now granted access to new doors and of course, new enemies. And amongst these enemies is a plated beetle which stands between you and your sweet, sweet morph ball. You kill it by hitting it from the back. You take your prize because you're gonna need it for this area, which is just puzzles upon puzzles. Not hard, mind you, but time consuming. In a good way. Anyway, you get to the 10th top of this stanky tree, get a whooping from some sentient belts, and you meet face to face with this giant alien praying mantis piranha plant. Not gonna lie, I lost some footage involving some lore about this demon bug, but I did find that this monster is the source of all the poisonous water, which affected this giant tree, which in turn pollutes the entire ruins. This plant mutated from what the Chozo called the Great Poison or Phazon. This mutation accelerated its growth and thus establishing its dependency on constant sunlight. Due to constant exposure, Flagra is extremely durable and on top of that, incredibly aggressive. Flogger's battle is pretty fun, not gonna lie. The battle starts off right away with this giant blood flower attacking with this poisonous plant. The solar panels flip on its own and out comes this monstrosity. Flogger shoots you with his poison spores and if you're too fast, it'll hit you with his scythe hands just for giggles. As you fight, you have to use missiles to tilt over those panels, severing the sunlight. After every panel is flipped, Flogger will fall over. That is the time to crawl into those little nooks with the morph ball and then use those bombs over that nonsense. However, Flogger would not make it easy. It will hit the panels, providing constant light. You have to hit him with a few shots, and it would easily daze him. Four times of that, and it's over. Not really difficult, but this is the first real boss fight on Talon 4. The music starts off really slow, with some nice beats and some eerie sound behind it. Then as the monster emerges, the literal sound of dread fills your ears. It just sounds like poison, you know? I don't know. Then squeals start, on top of some dubstep and a few organs. I know it sounds like a congealed mess, but it works. The music is really dark and a bit edgy. The music alone is supposed to instill a feeling of hopelessness, and it's doing it. Flogger is really big, and if I was there and this music started, I'd be stuck on what to do with myself, if I'm being honest. This sound is really good and it brings back so many memories when I played back in the day. So I was really happy to hear it again after I replayed the game. And that pretty much wraps up today's big boss battles. I know it was short and that was my bad. But you know I just really wanted to cut it short and really put everything together for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Queen of Boss Lights and I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>